played at the Heathcote and Star yesterday for my night called Labatees, which is um, I've got I've got it up on here on the screen for you guys to see. So this was my night at um, the Heathcote and Star. It was really good actually. I, I really enjoyed it. I had a good time, man. I'm not gonna lie, I had a really good time. Um, again, I, I DJ sober, so that was a very interesting occasion to do. Um, I served my first kind of sober gig in a month there. It's a lot easier because obviously it's a bar. It's a bar pub. It's not really a nightclub. So maybe it's a bit of an easier vibe to do. Maybe a nightclub be easier because people don't really come to you because, you know, the, the DJ moves all over uh, all over there. But um, great time. Great audience. I got a chance to play some lo- loads of new stuff that I was happy to play. Loads of new, new disco stuff. Yeah. A few house bits and bobs that went down really well. And I just realized DJing sober as well. There's so much clarity of mind. I had a real... I was very attentive and very sensitive to what was going on around me. I was able to kind of gauge when people were kind of in a lull, when I was going a bit, a bit too hard. I brought it back down again. I, it was it was a very um, it was a very response. I, it, I had a very responsive feeling to the crowd. I could re, I could just react to them instantly, right? Um, I was also a little bit more mellow when it came to people interrupting me during the set and saying, "Oh, can you play this? Can you play that?" It was very very mellow. Um, I was very cool about that. Um. And just in general, just a great, great set. Um, and my recognition was good too. I was able to remember what I had on my USB and be able to pluck things out of the, um, on my mind that I thought would work really well. I would have my playlist a lot better than I would have done previously. Of course, I still, I did it to the wire. Why is it, we always do this as DJs, right? We always pl- record, put our plays together, like, I don't know, a couple of hours before your set starts, right? So I was just at the, on the wire, if I can get stuff in record box and dragging it down to my USB sticks. But thankfully, it, were, it all worked out in time. And yeah, generally, it was a good night. Um, I was planning to kind of make this a t-shirt, this little Liberties thing. A uh, fly, I was going to have the Liberties on the front and then have the, oh, no, have this picture on the on the back. On the front, sorry, a little square image on the front here on the chest, and they have that liberties at the back with maybe the date on it. But I didn't have time to do it, and the place that I went to go print it out was closed on the weekend, so maybe I'll do that during the week when I get another gig confirmed. I'll just make some t shirts just to kind of have to myself aware. If someone wants one to one, I can just give them to one. Um, that would be quite cool. I'll do a promo thing. But yeah, by and large, good night, man. I enjoyed it. It was a good night. Great to get back out there again. Like I said, I ain't DJed in a while, but it's been about four weeks since I DJed last again since because I went on holiday, so it was a set in between that I missed. Um, and then, you know, just, kind of just you know, it's a, it's, a, it's a bit of a weird month in terms of uh, DJing gigs because essentially all the students have gone back are going up or down to uni, wherever they are based. So sometimes the gigs can be a bit dry in that regard. But I was happy again to DJ again. It's one of the best hobbies I have in my life of, I've discovered in my life. Um, it's been really good the last few few years or so. And yeah, this year's probably been one of my most busiest years in terms of bookings. I've been basically booked. Every, I've been I've, I've played at least a minimum of, of twice every month for the last year and a half or somewhat. So that's been really good and yeah it was, it was a good occasion i enjoyed it again like i said DJing server is great i was I, i've had an, I had my old blue suit on electric blue suit on that i bought from top man ages ago so i think i'm gonna start doing that as a thing going forward now maybe taking some of my dj fee and just especially if, since you work if i work nine to five it's easy because that money is not really money that i'm counting on living on just extra money i might just take the money that i earn for my dj gigs just go buy a fucking top man suit every month just a different one and just wear it out when i go to go play the gigs just to kind of be a bit i don't know i just like the idea of walking in and having that kind of like suit on it kind of lends itself to my dj name handsome black man it kind of there's a good synergy between that um again it's probably a little bit more on the is his name the magician or mr Arab? is it mr the, the magician yeah that dj called him the magician i think i missed it before right the magician i think it's called the magician the magician dj i think that's his name right is it the magician the magician yeah that's him yeah there's this guy who used to dj with the airplane back in the day who kind of has a suit on a wears all the time he does a lot of electro and disco edits and stuff and he's always wearing a suit and he looks fucking incredible of course made himself to the magician kind of similar it's like a bit of a hide Aikerman suit there with the stripes on it but yeah he's always got he's got quite a good style i like him so um, maybe something similar to that. and the other guy what's the other dude that all the girls like is it gustafostein gustafostein is that his name is that gustafostein Gustafo Stein, is that Stein or something? Stuff Gustafo Stein, is it his name? Is that his name? Yeah, that guy. Uh, this this French suit that all the girls like. He's he's got a pretty good style too, right? It's just like a black suit, white shirt, no tie. Um, again, just kind of lending yourself back to the kind of you know being an actual artist as a DJ, right? It's hard to do have a bit of persona there, but I think that works quite well. Lends itself well to the name. 
again something different i don't usually wear smart outfits at all when i'm when i'm when i'm in my regular day-to-day life but i think i work out pretty well i might do something similar to this as well in that regard and i mentioned um i think dennis salter started to wear suits too right for his new um ep is it ep or album he's putting out soon um he's 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 wearing a lot of suits now at the moment too so everyone's kind of going down that kind of lane at the moment but yeah um i wore an all, all, all electric blue suit for the occasion i was djing and yeah i had a good time man got great time playing there as always so thanks to everyone that came out for liberties again all my DJ all my DJ dates are put into my um, on my website. You can check it out at axinozinger.com. I have a link in the show notes if you check it out on my website. All DJ dates are on there. I update that quite regularly. So keep an eye on that. And obviously my resident advisor page will be on the list as well below. So you can check out my dates I put on there too to make sure you catch me when I'm playing. <laughs>